Look at this. This planet doesn't even have a name it's so freshly discovered. It is a lush volcanic jungle planet and it's rich with this new type of ore. These will be our objective markers for the night as we have Tau Coalition versus the High Elf Fleets. For those of you new to these battle reports, we play Grimdark Future, which is a simple, fast-playing, fan-made rule set inspired by Warhammer 40k. The rules and army lists are totally free, and there's links in the video description below. In the one corner, we have 4,000 points of High Elf Fleets, starting out with four Defender Squads, all of them 10 models each, two of them with Star Cannon gun platforms, and the other with Laser Lances. Wraith Suit Squads, three units, five models each, upgraded with distortion guns, all identical. Also, all made of metal. Those are heavy models. One Seer Council unit with three models in it, freshly rescued from eBay, kit bash where needed, and repainted. One of several psychic units in this army. Something we haven't had a lot of in our battle reports. Along with them, a High Seer, also an eBay rescue, also stripped, kit bashed, and repainted. Amateur tip, kids, if you want to speed paint a house army, airbrush and no edge highlighting. And yet another High Seer on a jet bike, really included as the last thing just to round out points in the list. But another psychic nonetheless. The idea being to do something a little bit different with the High Elf fleets in this battle report relative to what we've done in the past. And finally, two anti-grav tanks, identical despite the fact that the models are different, We're doing accounts as laser lances, prism cannons, shard cannons, pulse lasers, taste the rainbow, gotta love it. And hey, remember to paint the pilots, don't just black out the windows, don't take shortcuts. On the other hand, don't put a lot of effort into the pilots because you really can't see them that well. That's it for the elves. Let's go have a look at the Tau Coalition for tonight. And here they are, 4,000 points of Tau Coalition. First up, two grunt squads, 10 models each, and grouped with a grunt captain hero. So that's 11 models each, Shield drone for regeneration, and the captain giving them volley fire. It's going to factor in big time in the game, as you'll see. Two spotter squad units, five models each, given a shield drone for protection, and given spotting lasers. So these dudes are not going to be firing their weapons all game. The intent is to use them for their spotting lasers. Again, doing something interesting and different, picked two rather unconventional armies. Jackals, two units of five each, upgraded to marksman rifles. They are going wizard hunting. Proxy unit of battle suits, ambush, flying, shield drone, weapon loadout, identical for each, frag pods, missile pods, fusion carbines, suit fists, but only three wounds apiece. A lot of points tied up there. Another spotter squad. This one does not have a shield drone. They were put in to fill out the points in the list but three of them have been upgraded to rail rifles. This will be a multi-purpose scramble unit for any big stuff out there that's giving me trouble. The Heavy Battle Suit. This model, incidentally, is really fun to assemble. This whole Tau army is really just a stand-in house army that I speed painted for guests, but I ended up really enjoying building this one. Even though it is clearly statically unstable and in reality would never be able to stand up. Although maybe it has a gyroscope in it. I don't know. I don't know that much about Tau. And then we got two battlesuit captains who are carrying a veritable panoply of armament. A cornucopia, if you will. Frag pods, fusion carbines, and two rapid burst carbines. Yes! Doing accounts as the models are different, but they are identical in terms of mechanics. And lastly, codename, tons of fun, 
the Surge Titan, bristling with armament. Heavy pulse cannon, cluster rockets, twin frag pod, taste the rainbow, say amen somebody. And after setting the table for tonight, I got to endure a billion questions from my four-year-old and six-year-old about it. Easily their favorite model of the bunch. Honestly, it's my favorite too. That is the Tau Coalition. The sides are set, the stakes are understood. Let us go back to the table and get started. Well, welcome back. Seabass is here. Hello, Walked hello. over from next door once again. It's been a little while. Uh, let's talk about the terrain rules for the night. Here's what I had in mind. All of the volcanic terrain, you can set models on it if they'll fit. For example, this slope here probably wouldn't accommodate a model. But if it fits, it goes, but all the volcanic is dangerous terrain. So to pass through it, you have to do dangerous terrain tests. We will use true line of sight, except for these bits of jungle. So if you're firing through the jungle, we're gonna say you have line of sight. Imagine the jungle is not there, but you're shooting into cover. All right. Fantastic. Other than that, it's pretty simple. I have no difficult terrain out there. Um, this is going to be a heavy shooting. I don't think there's going to be any melee tonight, most likely. These are two armies which are most notorious for their shooting prowess. Victory conditions. We are going to set a random number of objective markers on the table, but we're not going to use the stock conditions. Rather, we're going to check at the end of each round. And if you control a marker, which means you have a model within three inches of it while the other guy has none, then you'll get a point. Pretty simple. And if you are the first one to slay a unit, you'll get a point. And if you are able to slay the other guy's leader, you'll get a point. We need to nominate our leaders. I am going to choose the big guy here, the Surge Titan. Do you have an idea of who you want to be your leader? Really, the High Seer. Let's yes. get a zoom in on him. So he's got three wounds. Are you going to be bundling him with anything? Yes, I will bounce up, bundle him. Oh, all right. Yeah, so you've got this Seer Council, and you're going to group him with them? Yes. So that's just going to be a death ball of magic going across the table. Epic. Yes. They're going to start out with Psychic 4. We are going to lay down D3 plus 2 objective markers. Ooh, that's a 3. So we're going to have 5 objective markers. And you just rolled... Okay, so you're rolling to see who will go first. A 2. So you get to place the first marker. Working on finishing up deployment here. Uh, I've got all my ambushers declared an ambush and my scouts are waiting to go out. So that's all that's over there. Meantime, he's got to deploy the rest of his stuff, which is nice. So I will definitely be sending the jackals after that ball of wizards wherever they end up. Board is set. Here's what we've got. Five objective markers. One is there in this volcanic cove. One's there out in the open. Here, almost dead center of the table on this cliff here. Over in this volcanic cove, there's another, and right up against this volcano. Uh, we're gonna roll to see who's gonna go first. It's a six for me. It's a four for you. I will choose to activate first. Here's what we've got for deployment. So again, you put out all your stuff and I scouted in four units. I scouted in this spotter squad right here, the spotter squad here, as well as the jackals next to them. One of them is actually in, in place to claim a marker. And then another jackal squad right there. So here we are, top of one. I get to activate first. Let's dance the spears. Here we go, the spotter squad moves six inches over and their spotting lasers are not weapons, so we're not worrying about cover. It's just straight up on a four up does it work. And we are putting, for good measure, we're gonna have one spotting laser trying to get this wraith suit squad. The other four are going into the high seer on the jet bike. First the one in the wraith suit squad, it's a two, no laser there, but the four going into the jet bike. One, just one laser. So I got my trusty, dusty spotting laser token. Go ahead and put that on the jets here. Yeah, jet bike. Sweet. All right, that's it for their activation, and it's your turn. 
So good question. Since you group the Farseer with the Seer Council, because they are not a hero, but the Farseer is, you have four models in that unit, which as written means that any anything the, the Council tries to cast will be at Psychic 4. And if you activate that unit, I believe you just, you're going to cast two spells at once. And you can do it at any time in the activation before attacking. Any time before attacking. There is the Cabal in question. So right now he's trying to figure out if he's going to move them, and then what two spells will attempt to be cast. The Farseer himself, no slouch. Psychic 2 on his own. Editor's note, stop saying Farseer. It's a High Seer. The High Seer trying to cast Creation on that tank? Yep. Okay. And it does. Good to go. So he's got Creation. Yep. And then the group over here will be casting Creation here on this tank. Yeah. Three. Good to go? Yep. Okay, creation on both tanks, and none of their ranged weapons are going to do anything, right? Nope. Okay, so my turn. These jackals with their marksman rifles have jumped up to here, crowding this objective, and going to fire into those cowardly wizards through this bit of jungle here. So, shooting into cover, they have sniper on this weapon. So they're hitting on twos, but because of cover, they're hitting on threes. Three hits, AP one, and I get to pick which model it goes on. I'm choosing to put it on that High Seer, your warlord. Got Excuse it. me, your leader. One goes through, got a wound on him. All right, I think he's got three total, right? He does. Okay, they're done. It's now your turn. Moving that model, they are fast, so they can move nine and still shoot. It's gonna wheel them around and then presumably unload into here and send the star cannon after something else. We'll see if it totals this spotter squad. Taking care of the micro, making sure all is well, but the laser lance, it looks like he is trying to get downrange view on this unit right here. Hopefully yeah. try to take some of them out before they start painting things. Yeah, okay. All right, a lot of dice to come up here. What's first? This cannon firing at these dudes down here. Let's have it. Both hit. Fives, so I need sixes. Uh, nope, any deadly? All right, uh, regeneration thanks to the shield drone. One regenerates, the other does not. You killed one of them. Fours. Clear line of sight, shooting on fours. Let's have it. Two wrens, these will save on sixes, they don't. You killed two of them. The rest of them saving on fives, no armor piercing. Yeah, there's enough failures in there. Uh, <laughs> See if the shield drone holds. Oh, that's <laughs> normally would be a good roll. Okay, that wipes out this unit. You have just scored the first kill, so you get a point. Nice. It's good use of them. Time to enact the plan. This unit right here with their marksman rifles are going to hop up a little bit, put themselves to get that marker, and shoot across this volcanic terrain so it will be in cover at that high seer. We're going to remove that spotting laser to nullify the cover, so they're going to be hitting on natural twos again. So here we go, hitting on twos. All of them hit. AP one on that jet bike. How many wounds? Four? Four wounds. What's he, what can he take? Three. Oh yeah. And the plan pays off. All right. Got to take him out before psychic. Good night, Irene. And. They have basically forced the issue. You're gonna have to waste some fire on these yes. podunk dudes because otherwise I'm gonna get a point at the end of the turn. Nice. Yes. Your turn. Whole bunch of firepower there if it gets in close enough. I'm concerned. Mm. <laughs> I was gonna point it. Uh... Tokyo drifted on out here with his movement of 12 and firing something. Ah, you do not yeah. like the spotting lasers, do you? No. Yeah, if you can take this unit out, I will have no more spotting laser capability in the game. So glad I spent all that time making those markers. I actually only killed two because this dude is loaded down with uh, weapons for killing big, bigger stuff. So, surprise, not surprising actually, but they are at less than half. So, let's do a morale check. Five up. That's a three. They are pinned. They're going to have to waste their next activation. Look at this grunt squad, along with their captain in there who has volley fire. They are not moving, and if they don't move, and they are equipped with certain weapon types, which they are, pulse rifles, they get plus one attack. 
So I'm rolling double dice. This is 22 attacks coming in. All of them have good shot. Hitting on fours. Here we go. Those hits at AP1 on your defender squad, please. One saved, five dead. All right, that is exactly half, so you gotta do a morale check. Ooh, all right, morale has failed. That defender squad, they are pinned. And you lost five of them. And for convenience, we are treating it as the gun platform is attached to the last model. Um, just like for me, this all my units, the shield drone is attached to the last model to come out. Gonna get down real close here. He's got the tank over here. He wants to slide over because there is a very, uh, take a second to focus here, a very narrow line where it could see this heavy battle suit. The question then is if the heavy battle suit is still 50% obscured by this cliff right here. Uh, we decided we're just gonna roll. It's really close. We're gonna roll on it. On a one through three, you are shooting into cover. That's a six, no cover. So you fired in the laser lance. Regen three of those due to the shield drone. I'm down to nine. You just hit with the... Prism cannon. Prism cannon. And I did not save that, so we've got six regens to attempt. None of them. That's six more wounds. Down to three. What else you got? Taste and the rainbow. Last of the shard cannon. Shard cannon. Three attacks. Oh, this is nothing. I'm not worried about this. <laughs> These have rending, right? They do. All shard weapons have rending. Yep. Uh, hitting on threes. Okay. Uh, one. One AP hit. One. AP one, saving on a three. It does not. Let's regen it. Or not. So he's down to two wounds. Let's see if he passes morale, which is going to be a four up. Does not. He's pinned. Ugh. <laughs> right. Enough screwing around. Here we go. Six inches. Sliding over to here. Time to acquire some targets. Another borderline situation here. Is that tank in cover? It's really hard to tell. Seabass actually is telling me that I wouldn't have cover, but I, I'm advocating against myself. Uh, we're going to roll on it. It's a four. You do not have cover. So here we go. It's going to be the heavy pulse cannon hitting on fours. Two hits. That'll do AP four, blast six each. It's AP four, yeah. but we're going to use that that uh, magical barrier yeah. comes down. So really it's AP five. three. So you would be saving, uh, now you're saving on fives. Yeah. Okay. Two saves on fives. Nope. Neither. That's deadly six. Nope. And... Hold on a moment. Does that thing have stealth? <laughs> so just check the footage. Yep. I rolled two fives. So a still hit luckily, but remember you got stealth on those tanks. That was a mm -hmm. expensive upgrade. Anyways, 12 wounds, right? Do you have regeneration? I do not. So that's 12 wounds straight up pulse cannon. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna, if I can, I'm gonna come up with like some Adobe After Effects or something. Now, um, uh, the other thing was the cluster rockets, which are going into this squad here. No cover, he's very tall. Cluster rockets, downrange at that unit, hitting on fours. Eight die. Yes. And, I will and we will have a morale check. Save it. All right. Two soldiers left. My activation is done. It's your turn. I like it. Moving those metal wraith suits yeah. up. Uh, all of them are going to have to take a dangerous terrain test. So that's going to be three dice each. And we're going to have to roll them in batches of three because you do it per model and you use the tough value, regardless of how many wounds they have on them. So mm -hmm. roll uh, five batches of three in a row. He's good. Good. One. Okay, so one. he's down to two. Good. He takes okay. one as well. And last guy takes one. All right. So three of them took a wound each. And the back two are actually still on the terrain. So at the beginning of next turn, yep. um, at their next activation, they're gonna have to take another dangerous terrain test. Anyways, they've made the move. They're within three inches of this marker. It is now contested. Mm -hmm. And are they gonna shoot? They only move six, so they yep. can still shoot. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna roll this off camera. <laughs> we didn't bother rolling, I just removed them. Okay, <laughs> that's done, my turn. I'm gonna remove this pin token and it'll be your turn. So right, you're going to move them at the double, movement of 6, so they're moving up to 12, so they can go claim that marker, play in the mission. I like it. My turn. 
I will remove the pin token from these guys, and now it's going to be your turn again. Moving them up about eight inches, and they're all going to have line of sight. They're all going to fire up into here. They are in terrain, so we'll be in cover. So you will be hitting on fives. So all infantry into here, and then the cannon, the, uh, the laser lance, is firing over here. What are you doing first? I'll do the laser lance first. Okay, let's have it right here. So, hits four. Saving on a six, does not. Deadly six, yep. I won't even bother with the regen. So you kill one of them, and we will do a morale check. Oops, on a four, does not. He is pinned again. They have rending, doesn't matter. Jackals are already saving on sixes. Yep, they're all dead. That's a wipe, and I no longer will have that marker at the end of the turn. Nicely done. <laughs> Very cheeky. I would love to claim that objective, but if I move them, they no longer get two shots. So, they are good shot. They're hitting on fours. We're using volley fire because they haven't moved. We're going through cover, so they're hitting on fives. Three wounds get through, so two of them have to go on some dude that's already hurt. So this guy right here. Okay. Get him out of that. And then the other, another one of them has to go down to one wound. Yeah. Him, since he's already out of it. Very good. That's their activation. It's your turn. Now that they've activated, you are finally going to move them, and you're going to move them at the double to get them closer and prepare for the future. Yep. I only have one unit left to activate this turn. It's this one. They have the exotic weapons. What are we going to do with them? The, the pulse carbines aren't doing anything, but the three rail rifles, now that they've shifted over, are going to fire at these wraith suits up here. One dice each, good shot, hitting on fours. That's two hits. AP four. Seven on sixes. Of course you have a six, but that one gets through and they are deadly three, so that kills exactly one model. I'll take it. Moving them full 18 inches, positioning them smartly and getting ready to claim that marker at the end of this turn. After that, there's only one unit left to activate and it's this two-man squad of defenders. And this is not a no, never mind. They're gonna move up a bit. You're gonna take a shot at him with the laser lance. Here we go, hitting on fours. It, it does. does. AP4. Saving on a six. Does not. Deadly six. Deadly six. He's got no shield drone. He is down to 18 wounds left. And that brings us to the bottom of round one. Before we go to round two, let's take stock of what's going on here. You have got one marker, two markers, three markers. You've just gained three points. I have zero. That's okay. I am unconconcerned. I'm playing the long game. Tau Coalition play the long game. Ambushers are about to come in. Ambushing is done. Dropped in some battle suits back here. Um, they are pretty they have been kitted out to go after big stuff. Um, I also have a battle suit captain right here. He's got some nice infantry chewing weapons. And I've left a battlesuit captain in reserve. We'll ambush him in at the top of the next round or the one after that, we'll see. I'm gonna activate first since I finished activating first last round. I am concerned that this guy with two wounds left is gonna get blown off before he can even do anything this game and I can't accept that. So he's activating first. He's launching all of his weapons into this tank. We concluded earlier from that roll that there is not cover, so I'm just hitting on fours and we're gonna dance the spears. Let's get some dice. Twin heavy rail rifle. Hitting on fives because of stealth, so that's one hit. Saving on sixes because of AP four, but thanks to that spell. Four. Four. Six wounds. Twin smart missiles hitting on eight. Uh, eight of them hitting on fives. None of them hit. Missile drone. Two hits, AP2. So AP2 means you would be saving on fours, but it's threes because of that psychic ability. One save. Okay, one wound goes through. Take that. Lastly, lastly nothing. That's all of his weapons. But got you down to below half, yep. or half or below, so we'll have a morale check. Saving on three. Okay. It's good. Morale is good. All right, heavy battle suit is done, and it's your turn. 
He did a wheelie, popped around, and is going to fire everything into the battle suits. Yep. Okay. A six. Does not. Deadly six. Deadly six. Can the shield drone kick in? Prison cannon. One attack. Hit. Four. Saving on a six. It does! Oh, oh. oh yeah! Again, folks, Wild Axe Armor Dice available in the Etsy store. <clears throat> the shard cannon. One of them rended. That one, that's a wound. That kills one of them. And then two more hits. Yep. Okay. AP one means saving on threes. One save, one wound. Put it on the middle one. He's got two left. Anything else? Yep. Of course. <laughs> Taste uh, the rainbow. Pulse I love laser. it. Pulse laser. Yep. Two attacks. Okay. On three. Three. Saving on a five. Nope. Oh, thank you. Reg we haven't been doing regen. Have we not? I have not. So... That one does not regen. Okay, yeah, thanks for the reminder. Forgot the shield drone. Let's see if those regens worked. So you caused, no, you caused a grand total of three wounds instead of five, which yeah. kills one model. Yeah, so yep. I'll just remove. So, so that's gone, yeah. One. Thank you, thank you for the reminder. Okay, my turn? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, we're gonna return in kind. They slid over a little bit. Here we go, hitting on fours, but fives because of stealth on that tank. They are firing everything into the tank. It has to go down. It's got to go down right now. One. Okay, that's one wound. Missile pods hitting on fives. One hit. AP two, please. Oh. Okay, it's another wound. Got them down to two. Fusion carbines hitting on fives. One hit. AP four. Six. Deadly six. Don't roll a six. No. Oh, it's deadly six, which should it's do gone. the trick. We blow him up. Yes. Two of the problem children are now off of the table. I love it. This unit has earned their beer for the day. We're going to put an activation token on them, and it's going to be your turn. He's in a conundrum. I think I know what... Well, I want to muse aloud why I think you are, but then it might give away something, because maybe you're not seeing the thing that I see. Um, well, it's the objective, so they're within range for the objective to try to pump everything into that group, but this is a hard-hitting group here. Yes. So, yes. that's my conundrum. We've always been friendly here on Wild Ox Armor. You want to know what I would do? Go for it. <laughs> so, you're trying to back them up. You're going to have two guys that are within range. Only two able to fire down in there, and they're shooting into cover because they're half obscured. Also, if you do that... This unit right here is going to, once again, I can tell you, I'm not going to move them, and I'm going to roll double dice, and I'm going to ace them. So you could move them instead this yeah. way and try and attack them. Yeah, and be close to that objective. And be close to the objective, yes. Threes. 30 dice hitting on threes. Four wrens. So one of those saves, three of them die. They can't regenerate from the shield drone, so we'll remove them. Here's the failed defense rolls. Will the shield drone kick in? Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. Only two more die. I'll take that. How many wounds do they have left? The captain has three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Its original size was 13. So it's still above half. No, all right, that was not a sure thing. I'm glad we rolled that out. Yeah. My turn. Yes. <laughs> we'll return in kind, I think. Here's the thing, there's no chance I wipe your unit, but I want to fire two dice, that'd be nice, but you're going to have a point at the end of the round. So I could move to contest the objective so you don't have the point. Then you have to, well, you're probably going to wheel in with them, but if you do that, you'll lose that marker. Eh. Well, mm. But I can also just shift them to fire into that, and if I clear that... I don't think you'd be 12 inches away. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yep, I'm going to contest the objective and make you do something. Uh, hitting on fours. One die each. One gets through. All right, did a wound. Uh, they're activated. It's your turn. The cowards are actually going to do something. All right. I mean, let's have it. They're the commanders. They control everything. Why would they, why would they you know, step out to get shot out? Mm. <laughs> I want them to have the best shot out. Good work. Mm -hmm. So you put them sort of out of view to enjoy cover from this dude, which is fine. Well, I have this to say. Shazam and Peekaboo, mother... Okay, this is going to work great. It's going to work great. Um, 
We checked, and it's really, it's it's tough to see if that unit right there would enjoy cover or not. So once again, we're gonna roll. On a one through three, I will be shooting into cover. I am shooting into cover. Heavy pulse cannon is going over there. Cluster rockets are going into there. Heavy pulse cannon hitting on fours, but fives because of cover. Both miss. Twin frag pod hitting on fours. Two hits, that's blast six. So that's 12 saves with no armor piercing. Eight are dead. Two more to kill. Finally, the cluster rockets. One. All right. So, a little mismanaged on my part, but we did manage to wipe out that unit. We'll take it. Surge Titan is done. So you're moving all, You're going to move them all up there. You're thinking about what you're going to fire at. While you're doing that, let's take let's take a little tour here. We have Mr. Tons of Fun right here. He's been doing well this game. Very productive. <clears throat> Back here, these guys are about to get samurai by this dude downrange. Yeah. Over here in the Ring of Fire, these guys have yet to activate. Once they do, the one in the back is going to have a dangerous terrain chest to make. This marker will be contested at the end of the round. So that's nice. I'm glad I did that. All right, you've got them all up there. Do you know what they're firing at yet? Witness in the wild, the thoughtful sea bass contemplating. Yes, always Nine of the guardians can see this unit. They're going to be firing down straight up, no cover. The gun platform is shooting into tons of fun. 18 dice, hitting on fours. First up, we'll resolve the wrens. Saving on sixes, none of them do. That's four dead. Shield drone doesn't work because of rending. Rest of the hits, no armor piercing, saving on fours. That's pretty good. One dies. So. Regen. Ah, yes, thank you. Does it regen from the shield drone? No. Okay. So no pinned check. Okay, they're still in good shape. I like it. Yes, the big gun right oh. over here. One attack. Mm-hmm. On uh, four. Okay. And it hits. Saving on a six. Deadly Does not. Six. Deadly six. He is down to 12, which is half. Let's see if he passes morale. He does. It's a five. All right. Good try. Nice try. An attempt. Okay. My turn. Returning in kind. They're not moving. Enjoying volley fire. Twelve dice. Hitting on fours, but fives because you're in cover. Three hits at AP one, but because of that psychic shield, it's that's nullified. So you're at your normal save. No. Three dead. I'll take it. No pin check, but it also gets rid of that she that psychic shield, opening them up yep. for some other shooters. But for now, it's your turn. They'll go out in a blaze of glory. You're gonna fire everything up at the yeah. big guy. Okay. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Failed. Takes a wound. How about that? Alright. You did a wound, you brought me down, which means I have to take a morale check. Will this dude Oh shoot. That would have pissed me off. If one of those, if one of these had caused me to take a morale check and pinned tons of fun. Here's my thinking. Right now, you could you could move and hit them with a single model. That's keeping you from doing it. If I move in, I know that I'm going to take them out with him. We both know that. I'm okay saying that. If I move him up now, he will actually put more of these within range and you could come over and slay him and I don't want to lose him. So, I need to stall. I need you to move them first, then I can do what I want to do with him. I need to know what you're going to do with this unit right here. Therefore, I will stall. I will come over here and remove this pin token, and he's activated, and now it's your turn. I'll do the same thing over here. I'll just de-pin them. You cheeky son of a This lone specialist squad moved up six inches here. The two pulse carbines right here are going to fire up into there. They are hitting on fours because a good shot, but fives because you're in cover. That's one hit. Nope. Okay. Kill one. And now the rail rifles, the other three weapons going downrange into these dudes here. Saving on a six, but it's going to get rid of that psychic yep. protection, so, so you're saving on a five. And that's four. Okay. We killed one straight up. Chipping away at the block. One model dead. 
And this squad is done. A lot of carnage this game. It's a blood match. It's a, a, a grudge match. It's your turn. So first, when you activate them, you gotta do the dangerous terrain for them. Nope, good to go. Okay. You're gonna crowd that objective, and you're not firing anything? Uh, Nothing's in range. Battlesuit Captain moved up six inches, staying this way. Uh, he's attacking... Hang on a sec. Should he... Should I split fire? I really... I have to take them out. I moved up six so that next round I'll be able to come up and claim the marker. But for now, I only need to kill two models with five up saves. They are within 18 inches. All of his weapons are 18 inch. Yeah, well, the cover. Yep, yeah, but... So let, mm, let me think about this. Oh, here is my concern. The rapid burst carbines, both those have to go into the same unit, whatever it is, because you have to fire the same weapon types at the same unit. The fusion carbine is wasted on these two little dudes. The frag pod should get the job done. I'm hitting on threes, which is, which is good, but it's one die. And if I don't roll that, he's going to get a point at the end of this round, which I cannot tolerate. I just can't. So the question is, how do I split this fire? Uh, this battlesuit captain is about to earn his stripes. He is only firing. Uh, by the way, so the rules are silent on whether you have to declare all of your targets before rolling. We at Wild Ox Armory have always said you do have to declare them. That's why this is such a big deal. You gotta declare them, then you start rolling. He is only firing the frag pot at this unit here. He has a 66% chance to hit, and if he does, they're gonna go down. Everything else, he is firing over here. This could be the game, quite frankly. We'll see later on. But frag pod hitting on threes at this unit. Here we go. It's a three. Mm, yes! <laughs> it's extreme. Uh, nope. Shazam. Killed that unit. Good night, Irene. No point for you. <laughs> Everything else. Both rapid carbine things. So this is 16 dice. Hitting on threes, armor piercing one. Ooh. That's also a terrible roll. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one. Whoa. One save. So that's what, six wounds? Four, six. Six wounds. Out two guys. Kills out two guys. Kills two models. Fusion carbine hitting on a three. It does. That's AP four. It's going to be deadly six if you fail. No. No. And he wipes out. He kills two units. This guy, in the words of Winters, he has earned a name. I'm going to, what should we name? I'm going to paint his name on the rim. What should his name be? In the other game, Tau have lots of, like, apostrophes. There's like five apostrophes in the name, so... And that's the premature end of round two because I killed the last unit to be activated. They're wiped out, so you can't activate them, which means you actually get to go first in the next round now, which is kind of big. Uh, let's see how we're doing. Uh, ambushers, I have another battlesuit captain ready to come in. I'm going to ambush him in, and we're going to go to the top of three, and you're going to be first. Oh, I forgot some points. So you got one there, you got... One. Another one here, and, and this one's contested. So you gained two points. You're up to what? Six. So the score is six to zero at the top of three, but I am still unconcerned. I am not worried. The tide is turning. Watch what happens next, folks. Watch what happens next. This battlesuit captain has dropped in just outside of the potential 18-inch range of the Wizard Cabal. If they were to do their 6 inches, all their 12-inch spells would not reach him. So he is specifically placed there. He's also within movement range of that marker. So that's why he's there. We're at the top of three. You get to activate first. Yep. Do you know what you're going to do with them? Yeah, I'm just uh, getting down the movement. Uh-huh. Where I'm placing them. Wizards moved up, they casted that creator, so these each get plus one defense again on their next uh, taking of hits, and it's my turn. Heavy battle suit hopped over a little bit to get out of uh, suffering cover. Now he's firing everything at this unit of wraith suits. First up, homing missile, hitting on fours. Six. Ooh, and it's deadly three. It's so. going to kill one of them. Ah, and he already had a wound on him. I should have waited. Darn it. Okay. Remember to fire your weapons in the right order, kids. Next up, twin heavy rail rifle. Hitting on fours. One hit. AP four. And that's deadly six. So it's going to kill one. 
Then we have a missile drone. Two dice sitting on fours. They both miss. And lastly, twin smart missiles. Uh, oh wow, three failures. Three. Holy cow, killed another model. All right, that's six more dice off the table. Love it. And Heavy Battle Suit with only two wounds left, been hanging around way longer than he should have. <laughs> Tactical blunder on your part. That's fine. And yeah, morale. let's have a uh, morale check. Uh, so you need a three, right? Yep. Fearless, so you need a two. two. Good to go. So you're thinking, this unit's gonna come up infantry yep. into infantry, and then the big gun to yep. try and take him out. Defenders, eight dice, hitting on fours, Possible. looking for rending. Saving on fours. Two saves, one for the shield drone. It does, no damage. All right, and then the big gun yep. at the heavy battle suit. I'm sorry, AP four? Saving on a six, it doesn't. Deadly six. Deadly six. Shield drone. Nope, no good. You were able to kill the heavy battle suit. Sleep well, brother. You performed well. A lot of my units have performed well tonight. They have. Yeah. That's what your mom said. <laughs> Once again, not moving because I'm a brilliant tactician and I moved them previously. They're unloading everything into here. We have 12 dice hitting on fours because a good shot. No. Oh. Four okay. wounds. All right. Kills a model. Another one is down to two, and we have a morale check coming up. Just don't roll a one. <gasps> it's a one! Yes! I'm going to have this as a point. That's pinned. Pinned models, pinned units cannot contest or claim markers. Nope. They are invisible. However, you haven't activated him yet this turn, right? I haven't. Okay, so you'll be able to depin him. Duh. Duh. However, wait a sec. Which models did you remove? Is he no longer within three inches? We'll find out in a second. Uh -oh. oh, he's he's good. He's barely good. All right, never mind. <laughs> okay. A um, little bit of shuffling around, a little bit of shenanigans up there on the cliff, cliff top, but you're firing the big gun once again into tons of fun. Yep. All the rest are shooting down into this yep. grunt squad here. I'll take care of uh, tons of fun first. Okay, let's do that. So, Ooh, that's a hit. And AP4. Save it on a six. It does not. Deadly six. All right. Takes that away. Morale check. Man. Five. He's good. Yes. He's holding out. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then the rest of them. Yep. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Rens saving on sixes. One does, two don't. That's two dead without a chance of regeneration. And then two more normal hits saving on fours. Neither do. Two more dead. That compels a morale check. We get to use the morale of the hero, which is the grunt captain. He's a four up. That fails, so they are pinned. Specialist squad moved up here. The two with pulse carbines are shooting up into here on fours because a good shot, fives because you're in cover. One hit. Nope. nope. All right. So the creator token goes away. And we need a morale check on the cliff unit. Nope. <gasps> Fail morale! You don't have that objective marker anymore. Oh, snap. And then the rail rifles going down range into this dude here. No. Nope. No, six nope. wounds. That is enough to kill him. I have decontested this marker. In one fell swoop, this squad right here just caused a two-point swing? Yes. Three-point swing? Something point. like that. Yeah. The tide is turning, my friend. It may be 6-0 right now, but oh, can you feel the winds of change? I see. So you're trying to conga line them to maybe be able to fire one of them mm -hmm. and compel a morale check over here yes. to pin them. I see. Yes. Interesting. Well, yeah. Okay, so the front two, after some shenanigans, you've still got that marker, and the front two can fire their distortion guns at this unit. Let's have it. 12 dice. Saving on fours. One gets through, and do we regen? No. So another one dies. We're down to this. Morale check. Need a four. It's a three. Morale's failed. They're pinned. Nicely done. Very nicely done. Good thinking. You thought you had nothing over here. That is true. And then before I went, you said, wait a sec. I have some tactics. Tactics. It's all about the points. Tactics. 
sticky situation over here. I move the suits up to the very edge of there. Next turn, they have flying, so they can do a 12 inch straight line movement and be within three of the marker. So that'll be good, but for now, they are firing everything into here. I need to be careful what order I fire things because one of those models has one wound left, which I believe you'd have to, we have to house rule this. I think you have to put it on that and then you go to the next guy. Because normally... Well, so he's got wounds and he's got wounds. He does. So I think you have to put it on the one that has one wound and then go to the next model. Literally everything missed. Okay. It's the cover. It's your turn. <laughs> Cluster rockets and twin frag pods going up into here. Hitting on fives because of the cover. Cluster rockets first. Three hits at AP1 on the cluster rockets. Sixes. Sixes. One saved, two die. Twin frag pod. Two dice, hitting on fives. Both miss. Darn it. But you still have to take a morale check. Doesn't matter, because you're already pinned. You can't be super pinned, to my knowledge. <laughs> so we just leave that there. Heavy pulse cannon, which is firing way down range into those race suits down there. Concluded two of them are obscured, which is 50%, so I'm hitting on fives. One hits. Nope. Three, so kills two. Uh, da, 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 da. So one, three, and two, one three. More. Yeah. So three models close. gone. That and is clean and even. And right. morale check, don't roll a one. Nope. There it is. Okay, tons of fun is done. Uh, coming back over here, I still have the little dude with the spotting laser. Spotting laser, trying to get on the cabal of wizards. No spotting laser, he's done. Uh, that just leaves this guy over here. He has moved up six inches and is gonna fire everything through cover into here. He's hitting on threes, but it's gonna be fours because you're in cover. Anything else special on these dudes? Rapid burst cannon, here we go. Rapid bur two rapid burst cannons. Eight, eight wounds. And so, kills two councilmen. Frag pod, here we go, hitting on a four. It does, that's blast six. No armor piercing, no. Three more, which actually is enough for all yep. of them, right? Yep. No need to fire the last weapon. So he's dead, that's a leader kill, so I get a point for that. You do. All right, I finally have one point. And I think I've activated everything, right? So that's the bottom of round three. Let's check what's going on. I have one point here, two points there. You don't have that. You got one there. I don't have that. So I am up to three and you are at, yeah. So that makes it three to seven in your favor. We're going to the top of round four. You get to go first. Let's do it. <clears throat> Swung that unit around. Presumably you're going to try and finally kill Tons of Fun, who is my leader. Yes. And the rest are going to fire into this squad over here. Yep, to okay. hopefully wipe them. Very good. <clears throat> Does not. Misses. All right, he survives. Two Rens, saving on sixes. They don't, and they don't qualify for regen. That just leaves the captain saving on fours. To save, regen, two do not, he's down to one wound left, we need, to, he's already pinned so I can't do a morale check. All right, thank you. Specialists moved up six inches, three rail rifles going down range into there, and the carbines going up into here. Three rail rifles, three of them, that's AP4, two holy cow, two of them saved, but one gets through. And that is a deadly three, so that will kill him. That will do the trick, folks. Man, look at that, almost. And then finally, the two carbines going up into here, hitting on fives because you're in cover. Three hits, AP two, no, AP one. No. Okay, three are dead. That's it. That's it, that wipes them too. Holy cow. All right. Well done. Right, so you have nothing else. <laughs> nope. So I'm, all right. Um, I'm gonna D-pin him, uh, and he's still, he's good to go. So he's got that marker. Um, they're done. Him? No, because I had to D-pin him. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, what are these? Oh, these are casualties. So, yeah, so 
Uh, tons of fun moved over, launched everything, killed them. You are tabled. The Tau have destroyed the High Elf fleets, but did they do it in time? Did you make off into high orbit with the jewels? You have no units left on the table. I did some other moves that I didn't bother putting on camera, but right now we're at the bottom of round th four. I have got one point, two, three, and four. That gets me four points. Seven. I'm at seven. It's tied. You're at seven. It's tied. And now in traditional tradition, we see if it would go on to a round five. On a four up, we play our fifth turn. Ready? That's a one. We would not go to a fifth turn. This game ends in a draw. Oh. Well done. Same to you. Epic. It was. Yes. You made off with the goods just at the last second. You left plenty behind to be slain utterly, but that's okay. So we'll have to return to this planet in the future because the score is not settled, not by a long shot. These are two armies which are traditional shooters, not a single melee in this entire game. Very refreshing. Without having space marines or, or blah, without having battle brothers or anything, you know, there's no, um, there's not as much fearless and everyone's quality isn't always a three up. So morale actually mattered. We had a lot of pins. We had a lot of cases where the timing and sequencing mattered. These are two armies that aren't hitting on threes most of the time. So that really mattered. Also, uh, having a table with good terrain, blocking lines of sight and doing cover really makes it a more dynamic game, makes it much more interesting. If you find that your games are very swingy or imbalanced, add more terrain. Make sure you've got dense terrain. Shut down those shooting lanes. Make it interesting. Speaking of terrain, all this stuff has been built with tutorials on my channel. Check my backlog if you see anything that interests you. If this whole thing is new to you, remember, check out One Page Rules. This is Grimdark Future. It is free. It fits on a page. It's awesome. Even while filming this and doing this high model count game, we got it done in under four hours. Amazing. Thanks again for coming over. We'll see you all next time. I am Wylock. Make things and play games.